I think our experience, especially over the last three years, um, has been really strong. It's been facing into the challenges that the industry has experienced through COVID, supply chain challenges. I think the Sienna team are very, very supportive as we've had to change our short-term strategy, our designs, um, and that's a partnership. What drives our business is our passion for changing the UK economy. And then coming to our partners and seeing that same passion run through their teams, their employees, who often put years of their life into developing these transformational platforms that evolve our entire telecoms networks, digital infrastructures across the UK. I think that, that shines through. Um, the breadth has also impressed me. Over the years, you can, you've seen Sienna evolve from its very core capabilities and bring new angles, perspectives to broaden out its portfolio. And, and those are ideally attractive to us. One of the key things for City Fiber and our focus on sustainability is, yes, the traditional focus on power. Um, the focus on how can we make systems more efficient? Maybe we can run them hotter. Can we look at different ways to cool devices? And, and that's where we look for thought leadership across our partners. Um, and certainly we're seeing that here at Siena. We're also very conscious of the entire waste cycle. It's not just about the power. So working with our partners to understand that waste cycle of equipment, maximizing the life cycle of components over the long term and balancing that against um, power efficiency, power usage is absolutely key. So our decision to move on with the RLS product uh, as part of our core national backbone took all those things into account and yeah, it was a foundation story how we're going to continue to grow the network over the next five and ten years. So City Fiber mission has always been to introduce something called a full fiber network. That's every premise reached by fiber to that premise from our data centers, exchanges um, and supply platforms. Now we don't directly supply to those end users but we work with a broad range of service providers in the UK who can tailor offerings working with government, uh, working with local councils and social groups to, to carry on that passion that we have for never leaving anyone behind and ensuring everyone has access to affordable, accessible and world leading internet uh, and services. Let's go 2200, 20, change of the century. The network we're putting now is just one of those steps of evolution. So the technology that we're, we're looking at, the evolutions that we're doing in just scale of things like edge compute, um, the expansion of capacity to everyone's home, opens a window of opportunity to huge possible potentials. If we go back 100 years, who would have thought what we're doing now, communicating across the planet um, with our families, um, with other communities in a real-time environment, who would have thought that that would ever be possible? Uh, and we are just on, the, on that journey. The next decade is a huge sea change as fibre becomes ubiquitous across our communities, um, but it is just a step.